When casting directors say, I love your look, I calm my confusion, douse the fire of befuddledness, correct my questioning, and reaffirm with myself that they are in fact complimenting me. That they are in fact in awe of me. That looking like me has found a place while creating one of its own. That looking like me like this has afforded me many smiles. However, for the strange young boy who squeezed uncomfortably into dresses, whose angular mandible drew squares of invisible boundaries on his confidence, whose masculinity was naturally evident despite the ribbons and pastels, he preferred jeans and sneakers. Taunted for his mixed match body and features, the hands of a seasoned man with the softness of flower petals who preferred sandboxes and dirt bikes over Barbie dolls and makeup. His makeup made up of sharp jawlines, athleticism, boy, him, he, teased for looking like a him but forced to use the restroom as a her, overhearing comments from teachers referencing him as a rambunctious male appearing she, while tucked hair gave him a flair he longed for, wanting the same haircuts and clothing as his male cousins, box fades, sporting waves and a few pairs of Jordans. Having the freshest kicks was probably the closest he came, but always questioned as to why he looked that way. Why do you sound that way, yet have that name? The laughs and jokes, the <sighs> giggles and defending of self. Yet knowing all the while that intrinsically a boy is who he is, chastised for admiring the passing girls, the sneak disses that accompany while existing incorrectly in such a world, mirrors reflecting his chiseled treasures, yet deep down inside he thought he was so cute. But made to feel bad by those of his youth, follicles pulled back only to be misgendered yet properly addressed all in one sentence, then loudly apologized to and receiving unwanted attention all because of his look. Honey, I didn't mean to. You just caught me off guard. Well, Mother Nature did the same thing to me when she provided me with this look that didn't necessarily abide by the scope of the way in which many people think. Shame never discussed, hurt never explained, words that never came to mind discussed, and no one to blame as to why he looked this way. And when he was Miss Junior, he remembers the whispers and the words they'd say, looking like a boy in a dress. Well, he was. And I was awkward, disgruntled, perturbed, and disregarded, unappreciated, devalued, devalued, targeted, a punching bag, and discarded. So casting directors, please, please excuse my internal struggle when you say you love my look. It took me some time to appreciate it. And ultimately, finally, love it the way you do. Casting handsome for the awkward little boy who grew to become a handsome man.